Welcome to Travels with the Russells. We invite you to join us on our adventures as we explore different countries, their cultures, sites, and significant historic and religious monuments. We invite you to please like and subscribe to our channel, Travels with the Russells. So we're going to go for a walk along the beach here at Soninger. Where is it, Cloric? Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> so there you go. Where would say it lies? Beachfront walk. On Cloric a bit up front here. Beautiful. But, uh, used to walk our dog. It's a nice walk. So join us if you like. The ship, the ship yeah, some of our famous shipwrecks. That one's a bit further out. Probably why the Mayor of Passos. Uh, Loves his rusty artworks. <laughs> Seen the rusting hulks out at sea. I thought people got up a petition to stop that from being sunk because they said that it belonged there after all these years. Well, I heard that it was about 300,000 euros to try and <laughs> tow it off a rock. Yeah. I think that put the end to it. Probably. There's some, certainly some very nice houses on this uh, stretch of the seafront here. The uh, kind of how the other half live. Beachfront properties, private homes. Some of them are holiday, you can rent them. Overcast, but it's uh, quite warm today. imagine all the villas on this front would be a million euros plus easily <laughs> here we have a vacant lot you probably just want a million euros plus just for this uh, plot of land but you would have nice for you <laughs> Keep your eyes on the shipwrecks. Mm When we used to walk Maz, our dog, it used to take us uh, 30 minutes to walk to where we're going to. We'd sit down for 10 minutes, then walk back to another 30 minutes. 
and uh, unfortunately when Matt passed and we do this walk with, without her we realise that the walk is about five minutes <laughs> but the dog used to spend so much time messing about sniffing everything that it would take us a long time to get down here evening walk it was far too hot in the summer to uh, bring your dog out during the day you wouldn't take your shoes and socks off and walk on a concrete path like this unless you wanted your skin removing in the summer time so it's not fair to uh, walk your dogs in this on these paths in the heat of the day so you bring them out in the evenings as the sun sets it's still really hot but at least you can walk on the paths Yep. More new builds here. Modern buildings. Over in the distance there you can see uh, again some more new build villas and apartments. And the big hotel, King Eldington, five star hotel, and some of the smaller three and four star apartments and hotels on here. And this is part of the coastal path that uh, theoretically, because it doesn't quite do it, but it joins Coral Beach to Paphos and Paphos Harbour. You can walk, I would say, 90% on the coastal path. For instance, where tombs of the kings are, uh, the site there, you might not be able to walk on the coastal path because the, uh, the antiquity sites are fenced off. Yeah, those are nice villas. And this is our short walk. It used to take us 30 minutes. These are uh, exercise areas, free for public to use, not owned by a hotel or anything, put up by the municipalities. Again, if you want to uh, inquire, you can freeze frame on there. Active Beach Hotel. Another little bridge. Really sure. Of course, in the summertime, the beach rallies and uh, parasols and everything will be out here. Lay lows, lounges, be right onto the seafront. So. As you can see at the moment, these hotels are open, but very wisely, not putting the uh, lounges right down to the front as it can. The weather can change quite quickly. So, that's our walk. I'm going to stop it here. And uh, thanks for joining us if you did. See you in the next video.